All right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Raw time. Uh, show pretty lackluster, though we do have a follow up from last week when uh, Cesaro got attacked by Chris Jericho in the main event uh, before his match with Goldberg. Our main event this evening is Chris Jericho versus Cesaro, so that makes sense. Everything else, pretty much not must see TV, but we'll see how it goes. It's hard for Connecticut. Let's do it. All right, our opening match tonight, we got Rusev facing off against Itami, Hideo Itami, that is. To be a good opportunity for Hideo Itami to get uh, back on track on Raw here. If you could beat the United States champion, Rusev. That'd put him right in the title hunt. Might give him a, a number one contenders match, or not a number one contenders match, a title match next week on Raw if he's able to win here tonight. Easier said than done. Hitami on the second rope here looking for the tornado stun gun right there off the second rope that coming right back into the ring. Hitami going to the outside of the apron. What's he looking for here? A back suplex on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Rusev has Hitami in the middle of the ring looking for a big time scoop slam right into that bottom turnbuckle as his legs crash into that bottom turnbuckle. Hitami looking for the back suplex dropping Rusev right on the back of his head. And Tommy's feeling it right now. He's pumping up. Big time kick to the side of Rusev's head. Jawbreaker. What's he going to follow that up with? Running clothesline, but Rusev had it well scouted. Now, Rusev, you're a noggy taking down a Tommy right down to the mat. Now, uh, Rusev looking for something by Tommy with the jawbreaker breaking out of it. And Tommy trying to pump himself up here. Oh, the big kick to the side of the head of Rusev might be enough to put him down for that three count. Tommy knows it. Going for the pin attempt here. One. Two, not even a two count. Wow, Rusev just no selling everything Atami throws at him. Atami, power bombing Rusev, a running power bomb on Rusev. What strength by Atami, lifting up a much bigger opponent. Now Tommy, looking to finish it off here, looking for his running knee attempt. Here comes the running knee. Oh, Rusev sidesteps it. Uh oh, Rusev now. Putting Itami in the accolade. I don't see Itami getting out of this one. He's in the middle of the ring. And sure enough, Hideo Itami tapping out. And Rusev, victorious in this match. And Rusev, hard fought battle with Itami. Itami gave it his all, but Rusev is the fighting champion, the United States champion. Will not go down, but Xavier Woods in the ring. Oh, Rusev, no, I see Xavier Woods. What is Xavier Woods doing out here? Rusev's already beaten him once for that title, but it looks like Xavier wants another shot at it. All right, second match of the night. We have Kevin Owens facing off against Jack Swagger. Should be an easy victory for the Universal Champion. Jack Swagger able to hit that belly-to-belly -belly suplex right off the bat and then going straight into the arm bar. Looking to make Kevin Owens submit early off the bat, but uh, Owens able to slide out of that one with ease. Swagger with the bat trying to hit Kevin Owens. This is a false camera match, you know, typical... Raw match. Falls can anywhere for no reason. Kevin Owens picking up Swagger looking for the go home driver and it connects. Big time maneuver from Jack or from Kevin Owens and then the flip sent on off the second rope. Jack Swagger all over Kevin Owens right now looking for the big time suplex but Owens with the reversal saving himself from death right there. Now Kevin Owens picking up Swagger. Got that Argentine clutch. Probably looking for the spin out neck breaker. Sure enough, big time spin out neck breaker as the game goes into slow motion, Bill. Both these men going to the outside now, which is never a good sign in a Falls County anywhere match because uh, they tend to stay out here for like seven hours. You know, you go for a pin, you might win the match. Just saying, oh, Kevin Owens setting up for the pop up power bomb, perhaps on the outside. Nope, oh, looking for the. Oh my god, the package pile driver <laughs> on the concrete. There's no way Jack Swagger kicks out. Jack Swagger might be dead. Two, three. Kevin Owens just killed the man. Kevin Owens with a sick, sadistic smile on his face after package pile driving Jack Swagger head first into cement. <laughs> the Universal Champion picking up a win in this Falls Count Anywhere match. Main event of the evening. We have Cesaro versus Chris Jericho. Both these men looking to take it to each other right off the bat. Chris Jericho taking down Cesaro right off the bat. Surprising turn of events there for Cesaro would have been the run running at Chris Jericho after not getting his opportunity to fight Goldberg last week on Raw. Goldberg nowhere to be seen this week, of course, because Bill Goldberg only shows up for special events. Cesaro, though, looking to get a huge victory over Chris Jericho here. 
Definitely boost them up the standings. Both these guys looking for a victory on Raw. Could be both their first, one of their first matches anyways. Haven't seen either of them very much in singles competition, that is. Garo tied up into the tree of woe early on. Chris Jericho looking for the backstabber off that tree of woe. Chris Jericho, obviously the Money in the Bank winner, so he has the opportunity to cash in or a title whenever he pleases. Question is, you know, the champion is his best friend, Kevin Owens. So will he cash in on his best friend or will he show up on SmackDown one night and go for that WWE title? Looking to fly is the Lionheart. The Moonsault connects perfectly right into the pin. One, two, only a two count though. Oh my goodness, out of nowhere, that neutralizer from Cesaro. What the hell? Pulled that out of his bag of magical tricks. Neutralizer out of nowhere. It could be enough to put Jericho away. We'll just have to wait and see. Took a very long time to get into the pin, though. One, two, three. <laughs> sure enough, Cesaro out of nowhere with that neutralizer. Able to put Chris Jericho away. Very quick match for Cesaro. Making quick work of, of Jericho. It looked like Jericho had this match where he wanted, but out of nowhere, Cesaro with that neutralizer. Picking up the victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's SmackDown time, and we have a hell of a main event. Sami Zayn finally getting what he deserves, a chance at the WWE Championship tonight. He'll face AJ Styles in a ladder match for the belt. Let's find out if he could become the new WWE Champion or if AJ will retain that goal that he has never lost. Never lost a title match. Let's find out. Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, our first match of the night, we have Chad Gable, one half of... American Alpha facing one half of the Revival and Scott Dawson. Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan doing out here. Coming out to cheer on his brother. Interesting. His brother from another mother. Chad Gable. Oh no, he's looking for the Chaos Theory. The roll through German suplex. Scott Dawson getting attacked hard in this one so far too. Three of Chad Gable. Holy crap, making quick work. Scott Dawson. That little distraction by Jason Jordan coming to the corner of Chad Gable really uh, took Scott Dawson off his game. I don't think he was expecting to see Jordan here tonight. And Chad Gable able to get that rolling German, the German suplex right away and win the match. Second match of the night. Hopefully it will be more of a competitive battle. We got Seth Rollins facing off against the IC champion Dolph Ziggler. If Rollins can win tonight, next week he might have an opportunity for that IC title. A lot of uh, pressure on him if he wants to become the new Intercontinental Champion. First, he's got to beat the champion at least two times, but he has to beat him the first time. That's tonight. Dolph Ziggler looking to beat down on the newcomer to SmackDown. Seth Rollins, he's had a pretty good showing thus far. You know, he's beating up on Luke Harper a couple times. An opportunity to become a uh, number one contender for the WWE Championship uh, last week, I think it was. But uh, Brock Lesnar, him, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, or him, Brock Lesnar, Darren Young, and The Miz in that fatal four-way. And The Miz was able to come up victorious. So The Miz also has a title shot uh, waiting in the balance for the WWE Championship. If Sami Zayn can't win tonight, uh, you got to believe The Miz is uh, next in line for that title. Seth Rollins for the jaw break here on Ziggler. And going underneath gets clotheslined by Ziggler. Though Ziggler has uh, an answer to every question that Seth Rollins is throwing at him right now. Like possibly looking for a springboard attack here. Yep, he's calling for Dolph Ziggler to get up to his feet. Rollins springing to action. The flying knee across the head of Dolph Ziggler. Rollins feeling it right now. That's one of his big time moves. Rollins turning around. Looking for that half Nelson. No, re oh, I thought he reversed it. But it was a half Nelson backbreaker. Real nice move. Seth Rollins looking for that. Bada Kadabra. Boom. Kick right to the side of the head. Seth Rollins looking for. The pedigree right now. He might be putting Dolph Ziggler away. He might be one step away from becoming number one contender for the IC Championship next week if Dolph Ziggler can't kick out. One, two, three. Sure enough, Seth Rollins making quick work of the IC Champion. And next week he will have a shot at the title. Seth Rollins in a league of his own. Might not be getting that WWE Championship match that he wanted, but he will be getting that IC title opportunity next week on SmackDown Live. Will he have the same results, though? We'll have to wait and find out. The bell has run. We have Neville facing off against Luke Harper here tonight. Neville finally in a match. And uh, not 
going to be able to attack Sami Zayn tonight. Well, I guess he could if he wanted to. It's a ladder match, no DQ. That'd be up to him. Headlock takeover by Luke Harper here. And the fist to the face of Neville Neville. An uphill battle here. Luke Harper able to speed around the ring just like Neville, but also has the supreme power advantage. Not saying Neville's a weak guy, but the size difference to Luke Harper gives him that power advantage. And out comes Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn getting in Neville's head now. Weird idea for Sammy to come out when he has a opportunity for the WWE Championship tonight. You think that'd be his only priority, but he's in the corner of Luke Harper tonight. Now Neville, Arshman Harper, goes underneath the big boot, up and over the Hurricanrana. Beautifully done. Oh, Neville, gut buster. Looking for the senton bomb off the apron. Neville looking for the back suplex. Neville's going to get back in the ring. Neville's going to win by count out here. Sure enough, he does. Neville winning by count out. Luke Harper. Not enough. There it is. Neville pretty much dominating Luke Harper this entire match. Outsmarting him, outquicking him, winning by count out. Taking him to the outside of the ring. And uh, Sami Zayn wasn't much of a factor in this one. Here we go with our main events of the evening. Garcia calling out the championship match right now. This match is scheduled for one fall. No, it's not. Never mind. It's a ladder match. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> That's something Lily Garcia would do. Anyways, the challenger making his way to the ring. Sami Zayn finally getting his opportunity. He's not going to get attacked, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe this game will still make him get attacked. Making his way to the ring. Finally getting his opportunity for the to face the WWE champion in a ladder match, of all things. If Sami Zayn could pull this off, it'd be a huge victory. Huge victory for Sami Zayn after destroying Roman Reigns over and over and over again. And then losing two matches. He's lost two matches since then. He lost to John Cena via Neville's interference. And then he lost to Neville. But Sami Zayn finally getting his opportunity. He is that he's deserved for a very, very long time. Here's hoping uh, he could do something about it and actually pull out a victory. This will be maybe the last one he gets. Who knows? <laughs> and the challenger, or not the challenger, the champion, I should say. The WWE champion. AJ Styles has never lost a match in the universe mode where his title is on the line. Of course. That has to change eventually. There's no way he could win the title or retain the title every time he defends it. But then again, he is the phenomenal one. And phenomenal people do phenomenal things. Be interesting to see what kind of match we get here tonight. Will it be... A quick one. Will it be a hard-fought battle? Will we see a new champion? Will we see AJ retain as he makes his way to the ring? Looking uh, pretty confident. He knows he has a hard test, though, in Sami Zayn, but he doesn't look too too scared about it. In this corner from Montreal, we got Sami Zayn. In the other corner, we got AJ Styles. Apparently, they don't want to do introductions, so I just did them for you. But, uh, Sami Zayn with a front face lock here. Both these guys wearing probably my favorite tires. Sami Zayn wearing his World Traveler tights, which are amazing. I wish he'd pull them out more often. Sami Zayn right off the bat. Arm trap, tornado DT. Huge maneuver from Sami Zayn. And Sami Zayn looking for the lion salt. Changing direction in midair. Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. Throwing everything at AJ Styles right off the bat. AJ looking for. Oh my god. Half arm brain buster right there. Sammy getting thrown out of the ring. AJ has the opportunity now to make a climb for it. Possibly win the WWE or retain his WWE Championship right now if he sets up this ladder quick enough. What is AJ doing? No, AJ's gonna AJ's gonna do something stupid right now, I think. Yep. AJ running out of the ring and jumping and missing. Yep, he eats shit. Sure enough. Sammy Zane in the ring. Maybe he'll decide to be the smart one and climb the ladder. No, Sammy Zane's gonna run up the ladder as well, and he's gonna jump and he's gonna miss as well. Don't understand these AIs. They have the opportunity to climb the ladder, but uh, Sami Zayn looking for the flying senton bomb, and it hits to the outside of the ring. Sami Zayn with a huge maneuver right there. AJ looking for his 
Neck breaker with the knee. AJ walking around the ring, looking for the springboard, looking possibly looking for the phenomenal forearm right now on Sami Zayn. AJ Styles' phenomenal forearm connects. To be the perfect opportunity for AJ Styles to climb the ladder, possibly win this match, and retain the WWE Championship. After hitting, hitting that phenomenal forearm, AJ has the belt in his grasp. Sami Zayn knocked through a loop. Sami Zayn trying to get back to his feet, but it might be too late. AJ Styles might have this have this match exactly where he wants him. Sami Zayn straight up. Oh, teeing off on AJ Styles' stomach as AJ still trying to get that belt. Sami Zayn reversed by AJ. AJ pushing Sammy off the ladder. That might be all she wrote. AJ though, looking for something big here on the top of the ladder. AJ Styles, oh, the spinal tap off the ladder. Holy shit. Holy shit indeed. <laughs> that might be it. I don't see Sammy Zayn getting up after that. Pushed off the ladder, then a spinal tap off the ladder. AJ Styles is going to retain this WWE Championship right here and right now. There's no way Sammy Zayn can get back to his feet after that. Sami Zayn stirring, trying to use the ropes, trying to get back into this match. AJ Styles can't figure out how to buckle a title off, but he finally figures it out. AJ Styles retains the WWE Championship. There you have it. AJ Styles still undefeated when that WWE Championship is on the line. All right, so that is the show. I hope you guys enjoyed. Quick match, yeah, pretty quick. Uh, kind of disappointing, honestly, but... Uh, that was uh, this week's edition of WWE Universe. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like on the YouTube video. Of course, everyone in the chat, I thank you for coming to Twitch as always and watching it live. Really appreciate it. Of course, if you want to support the channel, look in the description. Everything there that you need to know. Use the Tad app if you haven't used it. It's also on, uh, used on your web browser now, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, I will catch you possibly tomorrow uh, for another stream. Uh, if not, it's definitely Friday, Saturday, whatever. I'll be around. So, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hero Club for life.